Am I audible? Let's find out. Yeah, it seems like you can hear me fine. Let me know if I need to somehow move the microphone closer to my mouth, though. Rising Games present. Developed by Access Games. Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay, it seems to be working fine. Uh, somebody can let me know when you're here. Start loading up regardless. during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Came to the hospital, we met a chess obsessed doctor. And unfortunately, after finding out that definitely a killer that was involved, that York recognizes from another case beforehand, he is claiming now that the FBI's jurisdiction of the event, which has only impressed the big chief of the town, George. And at the same time, uh, herself on me, sorry. Um, yes, so at the same time, uh, he'd take over the event, uh, walked out to the hall to have a smoke, and then all of a sudden he has entered this, I guess you could call it, kind of nightmare world. And nightmare worlds, you may gather, are, some would say, nightmarish. So we're gonna have a bit of bollocks in about it's just how things roll. Anyway, let's get a move. We don't wanna be in this place for too long. As you have noted I'm doing the music's kind of Nerving, to say the least. Well, the place is kind of fucked up. It's not quite like the Silent Hill other world, but it's getting there. So I need to remember I can stealth. Or strafe, rather. The awful thing is, you have to aim with R, right? But then you can't move. You're locked in position. And the controls are pretty sloppy. And it feels more natural for me to aim with, with L. So instead, L. That. <laughs> so what were you doing in your space station, Andrew? Looks like the door was locked. You are a ghost. We can almost guarantee shadows are gonna show up. Else for storing bodies. I don't know these unless we really need to. There's nothing in it. Mm 
this and some automatic bullets. You don't have an automatic gun though, so move that to the toolbox. It sounds like there's something going on out here. <laughs> well, there goes the dead body of Anna, apparently. It was kind of gutted last time we seen it, so. Inches. She's up and wandering about, but this is a nightmare world, so anything goes, I guess. Including weird shadow nurse people. I don't want to die. You don't really miss anything with combat is now for it. But then they added in like just performance issues where it runs even sloppier. Mind you, this is running pretty sloppy as it is. I guess I shouldn't have been so upset by the PS3 version running kind of sloppily because I've only just realized that the 360 ports also ran like crap. It's a very unique game in that regard. The PC one runs in 60 fps right which seems like okay fantastic that's a great way to experience it but then there's the fact that there's the sounds of the cars constantly loop if you've got surround sound on and the constant sound of braking would actually be driving mad. and then there's also just the fact that actually for many people bringing even boots and for those more dog boots they'd actually almost guaranteed, guaranteed to crash at a certain point or not have your controller red or all sorts of problems so yeah the body of Anna was found with lots of red and apparently that's the clue that York was looking for do you like the way uh, the FBI gives you money for killing enemies and shooting them in the head as well the FBI is kind of weird that kind of fast movement when they start doing that, if you're not looking in the same direction, they can literally like snap up to you right beside you within a second. That seems like a headshot. Ah, it looked like the door wasn't locked. Okay. New York is a man, he can go into the man's room. Oh, you're looking for blueprints? Yes, please, isn't it? Seen better days. What's in the bog? A stabilizer. I think that's for like suppressing your stamina being used, so it's useful if you're like having to run about, but not really useful any other way. We're gonna try and get out of this area as soon as possible, don't worry. Not only is it creepy, but like I said, I think the combat in this game sucks monkey balls, so we'll try to avoid combat when possible. Fortunately, you usually are locked in the combat sequences. Usually you're just like essentially looking for the cards and lies you progress. Kind of Resident Evil-y in a way. You can see I'm not even really If I get a headshot, I don't just shoot loads of shots into the chest also does the job. You can get an infinite magnum by doing a certain side quest and I will be doing that if it adds a wee bit of pointless endeavours to the game. Trust me having an infinite magnum makes this game infinitely more enjoyable. It's a bit of a certain shadows you fight which you just can't beat quickly and it's always It's a she. What did I actually say? Per examination services. Regis. Hang on. 
Registration. R registration. Is it G at the end of that? And filling. Blood. Dollar round collection. Uh, okay. X ray room. Chest X ray. Polyclinic. Exam of internal medicine. Men and women. Premarital exam room? What? Just surgical exam for men? That's some English going on right there. Ooh. Yes! Your doctor told us that you air to be our patient. Accept our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish on your coming and be sure that we have very personal interest in your case and have already taken steps to see to T or to see to it I think that your stay in the Palo Alto hospital will be pay us a social visit <laughs> before you enter we want to I think that's supposed to be meat but it's meant and agree you for yours. <laughs> oh, that's pretty impressive. That's some impressive gibberish right there. I don't think I'm going to read all this gibberish though. I am impressed that they just sort of like just slapped some words on the wall. Nice. Nice touch. Now I feel like I'm really in hospital. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like a shadow. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a hot one, too. Well, if you weren't trying to kill me, I wouldn't be trying to kill you. Uh, and there he comes, crawling out of the ground like that. That's a nightmare. No one needs that anymore. If you complete all the side quests for the uh, couple that owns the shop, by the way, uh, you end up with the guy's guitar, and it's the best, like, melee weapon in the entire game. It can one-shot loads the enemy. Or at least kill them in a couple of swings, and it's also got pretty decent, like, arc for aiming, too. Huh. That sounds like some company anyway. He doesn't want to die. For some reason that does manage to make me really guilty. I think I said that there was a thing in Ninja Gaiden 3 as well. We're like... The enemies would like beg for their lives, except they were like, you know, not weird ghosty shadow people. They're operating on someone. That doesn't sound good. This doesn't sound right. I got a coffee though. Let's have a coffee. I need some coffee. Do I need some coffee? Ah, I'm still not that hungry or that sleepy. Well, it's covered with white cloth. What should we do, Zach? I think we're going to look underneath. The shadows! Whatever they are. Well, sorry, the Ninja Garden thing, I didn't go back to that there. So there were real people in Ninja Garden 3 and they were like, you know, soldiers. Now, fair enough, they were like shooting at you and stuff. But, you know, when you're cutting at them when they're like, got a car key for the central building but then they're like well, no please don't kill me and stuff like that there it's like yeah i don't need them begging you know for their lives i'm good about that there these here weird things like making these weird mumbling i can accept a bit more it disturbs me more like even if they're doing it in this sort of silly like voice at the same time it's just something there's something awful about it. 
being a comical yet at the same time, I could definitely see myself like having nightmares about this kind of thing. Just the unusual freaky movements and stuff. I guess I'm easily disturbed. Also, also the fact that they just seem to come out of nowhere. And, well, we don't know why nobody else seems to make any reference to them or what they want. Yeah, they sound incredibly sad. I'm getting some serious money from my company today. Oh, there seems to be something going on down there, but we can push boxes. Do we really need to? Push a gurney. Ray. I can't remember if there was like a secret item down there or something. I don't think so. I think it's just actually <coughs> deliberately kind of blocked off. Maybe? I'm not sure why it starts to fall apart as you push it. Like it seems fairly sturdy for a crate. <coughs> Yet it also seems to be falling apart. Oh, is it just what's really going to be like a financial reward? Because if so, I'm not really that bothered about money in this game. Oh, and I could have just crashed them like that. Oops. Well, yeah, that was a waste. 30 whole dollars. I'll be able to use that to get some food I don't need. Let's just run. Oh, well, you'll find out, Andre. So, believe it or not, even though we're in a creepy hospital, we're able to get a change of clothes if we need it. Yeah, it's still in pretty good nick. Maybe I could dress in this dandy suit, though. Yeah. Nice red smoking jacket, like. And we just got a reward from our company for changing our clothes. I guess they're promoting good health. Send that to the gel knife. We definitely don't need it. We could go to bed if we really needed to. With a lollipop. Yeah, we'll throw that in. And it's a first aid kit, which actually probably is going to be worth taking. Some enemies can hit hard in this game. They don't just moan at you. Strange. It seems as though it's locked. Arachnophobic, kind of. Oh, 
He's crawling out. Oh shit! Back off, love. This is definitely more efficient. Ah, fuck. Oh no, my steel pipe! That was a fucking beast. Oh no, I think I've made a fucking rookie error. I'm just gonna have to shoot these crits. Otherwise, I'll push them forever. That pipe was much stronger. I should have fucking kept a hold of that pipe. That's what she said last night. Oh, there goes Anna. I plan to follow the corpse, so why not? Here! Over here! That's lovely. Getting some free belly ribs here. <laughs> no anger at all. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Can't we talk about this? Freaky ass thing. Is the life any? You know, I think I ever need to. Not so bad. Better than expected. None of us do. Oh, that could have ended early. Do you know how I jerk? Is he dead? Okay. You know what? I, the knife's better than I give it credit for? Have we seen them attack me yet? Because... I think when one of them attacked me, it might have just, like, hit me with a melee weapon. And then sometimes they can, well, they've got one particularly memorable attack for me. Oh, money. Easy money. That gurney, that's really annoying. Oh, great! Is it blocking my way? It's hard to tell with this game. Anything down there? Nope. I'm just actually hoping now to get a melee weapon just to speed up combat a bit. You need a key card for that door there. That may sound like an exciting spoiler, but it's really not. What have we got here? Can't shoot Anna, if that's what you meant. A telephone in there, which means we could save our game. But more importantly, this computer. I'm not sure what he's typing, like almost entirely using the left hand side of the keyboard. Well, he's apparently operating this machine. And hey, there's a key card on it. That seems tenuous enough. That's first aid kit. Let's throw that one in the toolbox, shall we? God, your controls like a turd. I do love them. Key to entrance. Oh, I think we're coming up to the absolute worst part here. Which is like a lot of combat. Are you able to hear the weird music? 
are you for sound effects and things like that? Does anything need to go up in particular? So we get to the entrance of this hospital. Unfortunately, it goes all viney. Ass might have worked. That guy's got a shotgun, by the way. Not good. And he's got a gun as well. Yeah, enemies start coming at you with guns now. Not really the best situation. Especially when we have no such guns ourselves. I think that was Want Your Body. Let's get the fuck out of here and get behind somewhere where we can't get shot at. What's the name of that song? He's about to shoot because his gun's glowing. That's how this game works. That's not good. Run, York, run! Oh, what I'd give to have any weapon other than this gun. Hey, buddy. I forgot. Shitting them in the head is probably gonna help. Oh shit! A lot took quite a chunk of life out of me, as you can tell. So, this is when we do want to actually, you know, item for a change. So, small amount of health. I think we might have to go for medium amount of health here. Yeah, that was a good call. And we're only minorly. Oh, that really doesn't help. Well, maybe we could have... We'll have an egg. That's pretty good. Really? Kind of pickle? Also good. And I guess we could also have... Milky cream. Anyway. Back to the quote-unquote action. Take this meat. Uh, I do keep aiming for the dicks, but they deserve it. Dicks need shot in the dick. Dicks need shot in the dick. He's just going to flop me. Shotgun shells. Again, don't have a shotgun. Headshots can't speed that up, but yeah. <sighs> well, what was that all about? Agent Morgan. That's You're right. So desperate, then why not smoke two at once? It. Uh. Welcome to Deadly Premonition, by the way. This is not happening. Who's that old man? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. As I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that. Never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, 
He owns almost the entire town. Enjoy the smooth, smooth jazz. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. Mysterious capitalist. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Moore. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stoop. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? This is all very normal, I assure you. Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information, too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up. And even you'll have to answer to the law. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each raid, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Can or is it? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. some serious dollar as an FBI agent and don't worry you can be lost that's fine it's gonna continue to be Body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park that's west from here and too far to walk a forest park it's the pride of the town it has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls that does sound fantastic Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Well, looks like we got plenty of time to get there. Well, apparently she's quite pretty, but she'd look better wearing something more fashionable than this dull uniform. You agree, Zach? And the sheriff, quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is too eager to compete, which may be what it takes. Hmm. Anna's body was found by two children, six-year-old twins. Please be gentle with them, Agent York. Are they gonna rip the mother? Let's head over to the forest park then. You're in charge now. That's right, and don't you forget it. I think this time we're gonna take this uh, absolutely dreadful looking vehicle that also is gonna work look like handle like a turd anyway. It doesn't matter what we use. It's still gonna control like crap. Agent Morgan, if I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really upset about me taking over the case? <clears throat> I have the authority approved by the FBI to assume command. I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my orders. I'm not disputing FBI authority, but 
this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Hmm. They're the odd couple. Well, I'm certainly not going to drive in first person view. I'm not mad. Look, it says vid games is the registration. I love vid games personally. What's your favorite vid game? So what's that say? I can't actually see. But a lot of the cars registration is actually very like, you know, silly things. Or things that are kind of about parking. I would like to explore more here, but we'll carry on with the plot for a bit. I can always like revisit chapters and show you certain plots. Oh, it's back up there. Right, so one of the worst things you can do in this game, by the way, is races. I think there's one over here. And I'm going to show you what I mean. You basically have to do a time trial race. Because this is a deadly premonition, and why not? And now, to listen to this terrible fucking tune. For some reason, it reminds me of American Idiot. Feels green dash to me. I think it pretty much follows the same rules as American. Is it over here? How are you supposed to know where you're going? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Is he trying to turn in this? Somehow it's worse than you think. This is pretty much American, isn't it? The song, I mean. Like, I don't remember its music video. Yeah, they make you drive up the stairs. I forgot about this. I'm never making this. It's actually quite tight. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is my life. I'm huh? driving cars to the rendition of American Idiot. My song I already hear. Have I done it? Oh, I'm almost there. Oh, it's over to the left. Fuck. Failed like my life. And then it leaves you up here to add insult to injury, by the way. How the fuck do we get out of here? And I think you just literally get a baseball card, by the way, for doing it. So unless you want to see me do every baseball card quest, which I doubt you would, you probably aren't as obsessed with this game as I was. But there is lots of pointless shit. In the meantime, Anna's body let's was talk. discovered by the woodsman Jim Green, along with his two grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Just their daily routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Are you out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? Agent York, that tone is hardly appropriate. We were given orders to wait for you to arrive. 
Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert, is it? Or Bob Abrams. I did tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent Morgan. Don't worry about it. We may not have <laughs> taken official statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George, but that won't be necessary. I want to hear the details from the witnesses themselves, firsthand. I just can't believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. They may be traumatized. You'd better do this carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ah, just forget it. <laughs> I love vid games. Like Sam. So going up the mountain is quite a distance away. to do side quests and you got people listening to the game. so normally what you're supposed to do is just carry on with the quest and then you know revisit the side quests. You can however just decide to like, all these guys I'll see you up there if you want to. Like you can take it in the car and do that yourself. Oh I got myself to do that anyway. Oh I can rejoin it. Driving. Anyway, uh, Agent Morgan, how much longer do you want to keep talking? Maybe we should cut the chit chat and go get our official statements. George is right. Let's head over to the forest park. You see, they they're not as chatty the second time around, so we are probably better in some ways. Just uh, just going, but I mean, I guess I'm doing the same quest. I think that's a uh, how. That sounds unusual. But yeah, I don't know if he's want to see all the side quests. Maybe he's just want to see the main story of the game. Although I think the side quests are quite, quite, quite goofy. We're going to get some petrol to be sure. Oh, we're being served by her this time. Hey there, fill her up. Let me know if you want me to pump it. Well, yeah, we just asked. But let's get the car washed as well. That could be the, like the longest car washing of all time. And apparently washing the car repairs it. You know. Five dollars a gallon. Can't believe how expensive gasoline's become. Wow. Kinda wish it had been her husband so we could have got another sweet tip from him. Well, so much for the car being a good thing. Hey, there's a suspect. But no, we've got our orders. Like I said, people have their daily routine. So that's two people just going about their routine right there. Major Morgan. How much longer do you want to keep talking? Oh. Maybe we should cut the chit chat and go get our official statements. George is right. Let's head over to the forest park. Maybe you should let me 
go do my part-time job. Sounds like a good idea, huh? But yeah, they're done. That means I've got to talk. And I wish it was Zach uh, talking. Well, you're talking to Zach because basically then we could hear like interesting theme movie trivia not get scolded by our cop colleagues. I think they're too silly. And yeah, for some reason, boosting your car, like driving with the signal on, which gives you that slight speed boost, not only does it make the annoying siren, but for some reason it raises your like stamina bar, it like starts to waste it. So, I don't know if it stresses your car stamina at all the time, is that what that's supposed to be? Or is it that they just decided, yeah, we'll combine stamina being drained from when you run and from when you boost your car, even though it doesn't really make any sense. Like, surely it would just use more petrol or something? Who knows? Oh, that sounds horrible. I don't think I'm built for that, man. Yeah, it's a pretty big time. Agent Morgan, how much longer do you want to keep Sorry, talking? Sorry, we should cut the chit chat and go get our official statements. George is right. Let's head over to the forest park. I'm not sure if it does actually use Patrick from the group basically. So, what are you up to this weekend, anyway? It looks like I am playing Deadly Premonition. And I'm also quite content to have a tidy house long after, after being away, the place gets messy very quickly with this big old cat just out of it. Well, this weekend, so I'm kind of relieved that nothing's on. Huh. A lot of men don't understand female anatomy. But I, I think I can imagine what you're getting at. Oh god, I keep accidentally triggering that conversation. George is right. Let's head over to the forest park. Look at the size of this drive. But hey, we got extra money for long distance driving. And Hark, over here we have a big glowing spot. You know what that means. the whole town. He used the money he left by his father something. to buy up most of the town. Many town residents live on his land. Zach, did you hear that? This entire park. A rich man's personal playground. These country rich folk are amazing. It all looks very well kept, too. Um... If you remember the intro, that's where Anna was found. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body. 
Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. Zach, you see that? Twins, just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry, could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on, they're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of investigation, children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them standing so upright. They're not standing, I'd like to point out. They're yeah, they're very Isaiah. clearly sitting. Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. didn't know until then, but we know now, Anna was the fairy of the forest. Look at Emily. Follow she me. was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah, she was a fairy. A goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Uh, actually, she's What's in the moor. Sorry to tell you. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here, too. So, what happened here? largest three inch rivets which have held the whole pitfall Zach, like, something is that's still incredible missing. we need more clues yes now we are hunting for clues stroke your hair a hundred times let me see what I can find as you requested, Fuck we have George. permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of I missed some of that cutscene there, by the way. Ace of Crime Investigation 101. Love Roman Coke. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time. Oh, there's something in that tree. Of course, whether it's something... You really ought to be shooting or not, this is another thing. Oh, hey! It's a piece, piece of a pen he was shooting. And we're not gonna profile until we have all the clue pieces, because trust me, 
It's just a waste of time. Here. Ah, look, the depression on the grass. Two bent pieces of grass. Wow. That could have been from cops walking around. But I don't know, if you know. Oh well. Long question. A picture of a vest. Oh, we got a picture of a vest with holes. Yeah, I was thinking the that rather odd uh, statement, the thing about the Titanic ribbon, so I was thinking he must be from Belfast. It sounds fantastically terrible. Kind of pickles. I'll send that to the toolbox. Ooh, agent on Or... <laughs> Seems... Right where cards are supposed to be. Focus on the investigation. Yeah, I guess we can't quite go there yet. Some sort of item in this tree as well. And hey, that was the card. He got on a grim. Her breast felt like pomegranates? Good? Is that supposed to be a positive? Well, the item shot out of the tree up there, so unfortunately we're going to have to take a long way around. I don't see Emily near to you. I wish you went with the kids. I'm going to use it. Now we got a chip of rusted metal dust. Uh, okay. So this time we're going to profile and see if we can put something together from all that bullshit. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zach? But what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. You really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Blashing with her cervix? There would be even more disgusting what? evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. 
He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Well, we're gonna put together all the clues. He dropped the tip of trust for some reason. Benson Brass. Said. She was a goddess. Oh, that's way more logical. Subject of often compared to the sex color one. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer, no object of worship. She could be another victim who was with her. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took it was Anna was holding on to her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss yeah, Stiletto weird knows worship, the reason for I guess. that. Or so. She might know so something York about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. She'll be coming back in a couple days. And we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? <laughs> the the crime music do you mean? Like that they're kind of like cop theme music? money oh the whistle music yes uh, it's always inappropriate at any time it's used the mill is pretty far from here if that's where she was killed why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here I don't know yet my profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure though the unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime the unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love that could well be the key to all this. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. Of course, if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well, then everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. 
All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence and carefully figure the unsub's M.O., modus operandi, his way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. Well, now we know how Zach rules. So yeah, we're gonna head to the site of the murder. Can't really do much side quest in here, unfortunately, so we will just carry on with the vlog. Let's talk to the guy. When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but it sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a little late for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right, from your point of view. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? No. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I'm just drawing natural conclusions <laughs> from the facts that we've seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. And to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of facts sometimes. Bear that in mind. Oh, I will, Agent York. Thank you for another pearl of wisdom. Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the lumber mill. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? Yeah, Emily's already fed up with our shit, which is a shame. Probably no way to do a proper handbrake turn. There was money there, but as noted, I haven't really needed it as of yet. Hey, there's a car there. Can I get? What's wrong, Zach? Let's get this investigation going. No, we can't stop the car. Bear in mind, it is actually quite easy. I like this piece. It does seem to imply that serious shit's going on in this music. Let's go, and find out if your facts can be trusted. You're full of confidence, right? Let's get to the lumber mill. Oh, there, Seneca, huh? There's a race that can be done in here as well. However, it's still a deadly premonition race. Not the most obvious path. And over here, I believe we go. Oh. Some bad driving on my part. But here we are, finally. Lumber mill. Oh, I'm cockles and muscles. Okay. You two stay here. I can't concentrate on profile. Are you sure you're ready for it? <laughs> now, hold on a minute. We're investigating this case together. 
Listen, I can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two. What are you saying? You're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. We know how to secure a crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore... Yes? Furthermore what? To me, the outsider FBI agent, every citizen of this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole thing for all I know. I have to keep suspects out of the crime scene. How can you say such a thing? Is he making fun of us? Mm. We should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're right. I've never been so insulted. I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job. York's really winning the people over, of course. He could very well be asleep already. They are pros. We should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. Hey, oh, breaking the fourth wall. Zach, they're here. So, when York says they're here, pretty much he means the shadows are here. We have now entered the realm of the shadows. That shouldn't surprise you too much, to be fair. Oh, unfortunately, there's one right here beside us. Oh, fuck. I was trying to hit that barrel. I live for that now. Absolutely scared the shit out of Sheila there. Let's distract me so much I wasn't even aiming. Oh, she could get me. What was that about Sheila? Huh. Bit of movement in the room or something, but it absolutely freaked her out. She literally left off the sofa. She never normally does that. Do thankfully now have a steel pipe though. So that means we can wreck those dudes. And as I said before, the less combat the better. Yeah, for some reason the box can't always be shot apart from certain angles. This is one of them. He couldn't shoot it block put like point blank range, but yeah, not all of them actually have things inside them, so it's not all of them. I think that was an explosive barrel. I, hit that. I think that would have made things go a bit quicker. Only really one way to find out though. Go on guys. Come to butthead. No, she she likes killing spiders, which makes me kinda of sad actually. Well, kill one of them. Ooh, there's another. Oh, it only killed him. I do like your congratulating himself on a shooting at point. Amazing. You will sometimes say nice shot as well. What have we got there? First aid kit, small. It's always good to have a first aid kit. I find.
Ah, I hear the popos outside. Oh shit! You know who that is? That well, looks like the raincoat killer to me. Generally, I'm not thrilled to see the raincoat killer. Nor should you be. He's a bad man. He's a very bad man. Just as I thought, Zack. This is where Anna was killed. Oh, we've got to start profiling. My apologies. I took a little longer there. I thought he automatically started it. Seems like he wasn't in the mood. Hey. Come here. Don't. Well, that all made sense to me. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Of course, he's not lying. This barrier is coming up behind us. There's a submachine gun. You know what? That could come in handy. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of all that ammo. There is a body, but uh, it's not worth observing, apparently. Oh, we can't. Zack, it's almost like an altar. Was the murder some kind of ritual? Speaking of rituals, I watched um, the remake of Suspiria. It was interesting. It didn't have the Goblin soundtrack, but I actually think I enjoyed it more as a movie. Suspiria is like, like a lot of Argento films, they can be visually striking, but like they're fucking incredible. I don't know, I think he's kind of overrated, personally. And I enjoyed this weird remake more. Oh, there's a phone going. You can also shave. Have you noticed Zack's got a bit of... Or, sorry, York's got a bit of stubble? You can pick up the phone. Pick up the motherfucking phone. Get the motherfucker on the phone. We're going fast no more time. Where are you hiding? Oh, 
Well, we got ourselves a reversed peace sign. Or we're not going to start profiling yet. You know what? I think it would be a bad idea to see if a lollipop's not really fuck all used to us. Whatever, what's in here? Hey, it's a key to the engineering section. Let's take that piece here. Looks like it was a key item. Pun intended. There's other items that seems to be fine. Smoked salmon? God damn. That's a treat. Let me see. Uh, you haven't missed the song. I can do the song if you wish. Saving definitely is a good idea right now, by the way. And hey, I might actually use this here case for a change. items out in fact. Got the turkey sandwich. Wow. I'm gonna put away the onion. That just feels weird. Sugary donuts probably gonna do fuck all. And uh, completely restores the pulse rate and also keeps the blood for long. Hmm. I'll keep the rest. You never know when you're gonna need to or you're gonna need to. Let's take out some of that submachine gun ammo. Change outfits again. I still quite like this outfit, so we're gonna stick with that. We saved our game anyway. And unfortunately, our pals are here. Luis, did you see them investigate the site of in the forest where Anna was buried? Oh, I just got twatted. Go fuck yourself, buddy. Oh shit, that's still the pipe. No, no durability whatsoever. Well, got some dead motherfuckers right there. It's a good camera angle we got right here. Different camera angle, please. Oh, this is trouble time. I'm taking that bar for sure. Beat somebody over the head with the bar. Still got me a bar. Gonna hit me some muscles. Still pipe. Ah, I can't carry anymore. What a load of bollocks. Oh, I don't really need to fight these guys, so I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. You can stock up thankfully on first aid and this stuff, so. It actually does serve some sort of purpose. Unlike getting fired by. Or that one. Oh shit. My bar's broke. Eat up, want to die. 
few of us to do, to be fair. Not so high on my list of priorities. We're gonna get through this door, thankfully. We've got the key. And generator. It's rusted all over. It won't budge without a good whacking. Any tools handy, Zach? Why? So how to steal pipe. Why this place is filled with water. Ah, he could. You just gotta start to just accepting things in this game. It honestly makes it a lot easier. On your mind. Okay, so you wanted to hear the song. How did you know it was about Cox, by the way? Because I'm very impressed. Anyway, I, it's literally just the chorus of the tune, but uh, I think you'll hopefully, uh, hopefully enjoy the spirit of the song. And a one, and a two. A young girl's arse hole. A young girl's arse hole, my cockin, my cockin, a young girl's arse hole. <laughs> so there we go. It's a uh, very, uh, very friendly. Sing it in your workplace. You won't get arrested. It could also be a tight boy's arse hole. It's it's very flexible. That's what I like about the tune. A young man's arse hole, a young girl's arse hole. And there's another uh, reverse peace sign, as you call it. You can observe it. Huge upside down peace marks being drawn on the steam engine tank. Any idea what it means, Zach? Not a fucking baldy. But I'm not Zach. Ooh. Oh, my nice fucking. Oh no. I'm gonna get down to have a fucking knife. But it's a good time to have some machine gun. And we're getting money. Well, it's an Irish song, Louise. You gotta sing it in an Irish accent. Did you get the secret meaning behind the song, by the way? It's got a hidden message. I'd be curious if you can interpret it. Eh, uh, maybe I should have bought another coffee. Secret photo circle. Like that Marvin Gaye song where I find a secret photo from that. Yes. I thought that was my favorite person. Amazing. Well, the crying baby sign's definitely helping me. I know what you're thinking. Why the fuck is there a baby crying in this place? It's full of murky water. A sickly blackish red color. That seems positive. Oh, this is good. This is a positive.
Nothing here of any interest to me. I think this is what you call bad circumstances. These are fairly bad circumstances to be in. Oh, you'd have to be here, wouldn't you? I'm teleporting around like a freak. He definitely doesn't want to die. I kind of feel bad about that. You're getting twatted with a pipe. Ah, uh, through the door we'll go. There are some pretty brutal quick time sequences in this, so I'm actually praying for a phone. Yeah, whatever. God, these pipes don't last any time at all, do they? Well, look, you're dying, so tough. I'm not happy about it either. Ooh. You can observe. You can't get through this rubble. We'll have to find another way, Zach. Can't get through this rubble. Oh, that's body. I think I broke my pipe. But we got ourselves a bar. It's all swings and roundabouts, right? I definitely can't bring myself to shoot my way through those boxes, so that was happening. And we can't observe through this. I got an observation bonus. <laughs> As you can imagine. That baby crying isn't irritating. Nor is it disturbing. The baby's crying inside. Looks like we could open it. So, let's check this out. And it's a gearbox rather than a baby crying. Oh boy. Well, you didn't see that coming. Thankfully, I was able to clear up there with some carefully placed shots. Got ourselves a steel pipe back, good. Nothing else in here, unfortunately. At least the baby stopped crying, you know. Gotta look for positives sometimes, right? And today now, our path's no longer blocked. Everything's coming up York. Oh shit! Well, 
Well, I just backed myself in the toilet that needs flushed. Stabilizer, that's not really what I was looking for. Nothing here of any interest. Oh, great. First year kit's good though. As I said, definitely can do with those. I wasn't lying when I said the enemies hurt when they hit. Nothing here of any interest to me. I suppose it is just a bog, you know? Some of them are just toilets, not all of them have weird bloody water in them. It's just a bloody toilet that we could flush. Great. Well, yes. I'll call it that time. Now, where am I on the map? Sorry. A bit disorientated. I think I've came all that way, haven't I? Looks like we've got a long ways to go. Let's try to get a move on, shall we? But you really don't know if there's going to be like an important key item or not, unfortunately. God, tell me I'm I hope I've not accidentally backtracked. I've backtracked. Whoops. It's kind of hard to tell. The area is a bit manky, you know? Oh, me. Oh, we got a flare, a toilet flare. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. This seems new. I don't think we've been in here before. Oh, you! The crowbar of justice! Oh shit! Leave me alone! FBI don't like people. In general, apparently. Take that! It's gonna be cold by now. <laughs> I 
think this is where it's going to get really irritating for me. I haven't seen a safe point in this yet, have you? Uh-oh. Hi, guys. Oh, that didn't get anyone. Crap. behind the elevator. That was par all right, but the motor doesn't seem to be working. Well, it did just get a gear, didn't I? I think I could have used those barrels better. A motor for the elevator. It doesn't seem to be working. There's a recess for fitting something, maybe. Of course, we're going to try the gearbox. The gear fits the recess like a glove. You should be able to move the elevator. There's also something over here, so I'm gonna see if there's anything to be found. Well, it looks like it's just a dead end. Instead, let's try activating the elevator. See what happens. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear about the heart palpitations. That's not good. That's not good. Damaged red hair is caught up in the lift mechanism. Make sense of that, if you will. Unfortunately, our friends are here. they died quickly enough. <laughs> Looks like the power is out. You'll need to restore power to move this elevator back. So yeah, that old classic. What 
I get for my peen. Found it. Yeah, so I'll take the bar. And yeah, the motor's intact, so it's not like there's been any kind of interference in that regard. <laughs> So, you can observe, it looks like the door wasn't locked. Before we carry on, you know what, I'm gonna grab a quick save just to be safe. So things can get bad here. Thankfully, this isn't a payphone. Have you taken any medication for it, Louise? This is food. We don't need food. Oh shit! Uh oh. No handprints around the part where the doorknob should be. That's what weird design it seems. Uh, I think it means there are handprints. There's loads of handprints around it. But there's no door handprints. Yeah, it's just a little weird, York. I'll give him that one. Hmm. When was the last time you had a checkup, dude? I drank my drink down in London. Ah, uh, better hear one. Planet safe, you know. Now, if you guessed that this area might be full of shadows, you're 100% correct. Shadows everywhere to be found. There's another steel pipe. They're always handy. Oh, that's good. At least you are to see him soon then. Lockers. Nothing in there. Well, so it's just wreck shit. And wrecking shit has got us now. I kind of know somebody that looks like her, by the way. Doesn't sound like her. I'd be really melty if she did sound like her. Hey, make a trauma. I don't want that part. Oh, hand right down the throat. That's the attack I was on about, where they stuff their hands down your throat. Not my favorite attack in a game. It mildly disturbs me. I think things could be worse, Louise. You could have, have somebody throwing up their hand down your throat. I know what you're having is a serious condition, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, hand down throat from freaking fat shadow lady. Oh, 
are not life reorg. Oh shit. Ah, it's on down the third time again. No one needs a hand down their throat. I think that's a hundred percent factual in everybody's case. It's another door lock here, but kind of like Resident Evil 4. You can't shoot it off. I think I might be better taking a bit of healing. Maybe I should have bought more. Than Yeah, people are raving about the TV series. Uh, I've not seen any of it. Oh, the door's locked. And this weird room filled with hands. And weird music, so... For some reason it was a tree covered in red hands. And we had limited time, because guess what? That was actually poison fog filling the room there. And hark. We find a hand on the floor. Shaped like those on the door. That's actually a doorknob, believe it or not. Me, I'd not be that thrilled about having a doorknob made. From somebody's hand. Or a hand. Even a hand shift or not full stop. It's not high on my priorities of things to things to use. I think I said though, I'm not a big fan of the movie, so that's why I haven't really checked out the show. Maybe I should re-watch the movie. I tried re-watching it again. I think of Darns with one of his houses with Jessica. Uh, I think it was when I was over seeing it. And even like a bit older, I still didn't really enjoy it that much. But, you know, maybe it's just been the kind of mood of it. I've heard the TV show is pretty much just like Smash Cabinets. Yes. I know I could do better, Amy, but it's no real reward for doing so. Oh. These guys moved at full speed the whole time, it would be very disturbing. Yeah, Red Hand, they also did point. This is not going well. You know, I'm not normally this bad, normally I just keep my distance and do shots, but I also want to get through. Means melee weapons, cause the actual. Because you've just seen the actual. Uh, regular weapons, not so good. Like the gun. The doorknob is shaped like a hand. Classy for a lumber mill. We'll need a little handshake to be open the door. <gasps> yeah, I wouldn't have done that, York. Unfortunately, yeah, it's another quick time event, and there's going to be quite a few of those, and they're all quite irritating. But hey, 
We find a fake fingernail after all that. That's definitely a clue. Well, we'll go through the weird hand door. And prepare for tedium, but for me. Possibly death. Hopefully not death. Please don't die, York. Don't die, York. Oh god, please don't die, York. The younger Lazarus <laughs> A nice tight arsehole My cockin, my cockin A nice tight arsehole <laughs> We got weird mirrors Oh fuck! I consider that a negative. Well, that was narrow. Maybe turn off that light a second. Boy tries to get too tough, 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 gotta turn off the light. <laughs> well, it seems like he ran off. Maybe we're safe. <laughs> I can pause if you need me to. We got a milky coffee. Yummy. If only I liked coffee. I really wish I did like coffee. Ooh, it took a sandwich. Oh, I can't keep that item anymore. How hungry am I? I'm hungry enough for a turkey sandwich, it seems. Or should I eat the lovely sandwich? Eat the turkey sandwich. You can only hold one turkey sandwich anyway, so. Yay, we are no longer hungry. Nor are we tired. Nor are we dreamy. We only got one of these. I could definitely do with a med kit right now. That turkey sandwich is one of the most revolting looking things I've ever seen. What is the blue shit? What is the blue shit that's in the turkey sandwich? It makes me think of like the sub that Homer eats in The Simpsons that makes him sick and he can't go to Duck Garden. Get ready for tedium for Megatron. This is the worst. I think it's literally about to happen. I could be wrong. Hang on, let me check the map. But it should have happened now. I think it's about to happen. Yep. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. Please be wiggling to get out. Uh oh. Or is it a button? It's wiggling! Woo! He's not happy about that. Yeah. Off you fuck. Prick. I'm really bad at quick time. <laughs> See, that means energy drinks are a no-no for you as well. <laughs> I didn't really like energy drinks anyway, so...
This is a bit of a maze here. Let's see the map. Oh, a key door. Seems as though there's something ahead of us that we need to get through. Looks like there's a door. We can open this door. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Yeah. Get your hands off of me, you fucking fuck. You stinking bastard. Right, I'm sticking the gun. Got too frisky. Keep your hands out of people's mouths, you stinking bastard. Ooh, first aid kit large. Stinking bastard. I think stinking bastard was justified in that instance, thank you. You stinking bastard. Get your hands out of my mouth, you fucking stinking bastard. Oh Jesus Christ. I just trapped myself down here. I didn't need to be here, did I? Oh, oh, right. Okay, Fatty, keep your paws to yourself. And out of people's mouths. Well, he's dead. Turns out he also didn't want to die. I'm joining the fucking club, mate. Oh, he's got a bloody crowbar. <laughs> Uh, that looks like a weird sort of. Ah, this looks promising. Sells a bar. Oh, no, I don't know. Have you seen that, Andre? It's from the opening of a movie called Whore. And it's possibly the greatest moment in cinema history. Uh oh. Let's just get away from these stinking fucks. Or they threw hands down the throat again. And hey, we've been locked in the room. I think York knows being locked in a room isn't a positive. You know, I don't think I need any flares right now. I can still carry loads of items. It was just that turkey sandwich, huh? Got plenty of ammo. That's good. Take out some items. I'm gonna take that medium first aid kit, you know, just for safety. And the knife could be handy. Oh, can't carry any other items. Never mind. Ah, you've seen it then. That's alright. It's possibly the best thing to happen in the history of all cinema. I'm going to take a safety save here. Might seem cowardly. That's kind of because it is. But if you had to go through instant kill quick time events, you would take one too. I would if I could. 
bitch. We change our outfit. Oh, it's looking a bit dirty. Well, we don't want to wear a smelly outfit, do we? Let's go for the workaholic. And let's get that there cleaned. Eight dollars. Yeah, that's reasonable. And it'll take ten million hours to have it cleaned, apparently. So, we're going to turn on this generator. the phone or is this looking on TV quite noise in the TV who turned it on I wonder well the coach Aggie reasonable the phone is ringing again let's try to trace the call this time Zach does he have the equipment to do so It's locked from the outside. We can take a peek through the window here. And if we take a peek. Uh oh. Yeah, he might see us. He's here again. What we can do is hide. Let's hide. This game has higher ambitions than like it, the engine could like manage. And it's weird because like think about this here. This is on the 360. It looks not much better than a PS2 game. Like, I would argue that Silent Hill 3 looked better than this game in many places. And at the same time, you can't handle that simple split screen effect, which I think even. What do you call it, man? Um, what did you call that game? Forbidden Siren. I can get them that. So yeah, this guy is in. And he's freaking me the fuck out. I wanna fuck you up the ass. I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? What else do you want? A hand job? I remember saying that. Definitely would have spotted me there. Good thing I hid in the cupboard. He's feeling the tension, by the way. York certainly is. Look at that tension bar. But yeah, literally all you have to do is hold your breath when the game tells you to do so. Bar's about to break, I've just missed
You know, I've never seen the full original Toxic Adventure. It's a chroma, isn't it? Yeah, I could finally use one of those stabilizers. That would be justifiable now. Might as well recover my health while I can. <sighs> Zack, this is a waste of time. Let's go. What about the axe he threw to the wall? Guess that wasn't really worth seeing. Okay, and I'm going to take another backup safe. You can judge me all you wish. Okay, I'm alive again. I love to reload during a battle. Ugh. Not sure about the weird pool of water here, by the way. I think I'm about to get the quick time hell. Quick time hell ho! I don't know why he feels the need to push this box here. Why he doesn't just like, you know, run the opposite direction, for instance. There's nothing you can do. And that is my controller you hear rattling there because, well, you gotta do it. I kind of hold the controller sideways for this, it just seems to make it a wee bit easier to do. It's still agonizing and the absolute worst than- oh god, he's caught up with me! Uh oh. Oh shit! This isn't good. This is why I take a safety safe. Thankfully, I got away there. That's what happens when you hit the wrong button, anyway. At least he's not giving me chase at the moment. He seems to be standing there. Whereas York very slowly opens the door. Cheers, York. Sure, it's only your life, right? Oh, I hit the wrong button again. So now I got hit by steam. I think that's what happens. You could get up, York. Again, you're already you're already getting murdered. Run like fuck, buddy. Yeah, so it's supposed to hit B to avoid the steam, but I feel to. And just narrowly miss getting. I've seen a. Uh... A review of P.D. Weechaw only recently on Red Letter Media, and it's like, I need to see that film. I've decided. I've got to get it into my life. Oh shit. Crowbar to the face. Buddy, get the fuck out of my way. I don't want to die either. Let's get the fuck out of this popsicle stand. I don't agree with them on everything, Red Letter Media, but I do really like them. I've been watching them since the... what do you call it? The... I've been watching Red Letter Media since, um, well, pretty much their first, like, 
famous uh, Phantom Menace Star Wars review, it was kind of cathartic, you know? So it really helped. Oh god. See this running sequence, the fact that it's like as bad as the... the what do you call it sequence? Um, like arm wrestling in Shenmue practically. Oh, that's the wrong button. I should have been ready for Y, it turns out. Investigation failure. Ah, at least we're just back to here again. That wasn't too cruel. But again, my quick time weakness. How am I going to survive Shenmue 3, guys? How am I going to survive Shenmue 3? I'm not sure if Yakuza has them as well. Avoid the axe. Also avoid the axe. And also avoid the axe. Are you done? I think you should be done. Oh, that's the wrong button. Right button, the straight right. Oh, fuck. Well. Why be right button? I wasn't expecting right button to be fair. <laughs> yeah, this guy is trying to kill us. Even if he's made poor efforts in the past. Yeah. Gotta take the initiative sometimes. Not a clever move from York there. Although I would have thought shooting the bastard would have been a good idea. Instead, York sends him back up in the lift with a William shot, and he gets a bit of torn red raven coat. Wow, you know how many days it is to Shammy 3? So we got our final clue piece, surely. Let's put together what happened here. Got a girl cavorting on the altar. Hey. Come here. Don't. I'll be honest That's with you, that wasn't needs, entirely Zach. crystal clear to me. Let's go back and show them what we found. But thankfully... We've come out of that nightmare. The pickles. I like that. Have you seen any of these things before? No, not that I know of. But that raincoat is a little odd. Odd? In a town where it rains so much? Well, the people here rarely go out in the rain. I moved here during high school and I never really understood why. Can you shed some light on this, George? No. Oh, well... There's an old story, folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer 
in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. A vicious killer in a bright red raincoat. Yeah, that was it. Just a foolish piece of superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. Not many people still believe it, but I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out, too. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. And now Imagine the raincoat this was the case in, like, out from his picture book. Belfast, or, like... Oh, by the way, would you, you two know, kindly show me Scotland, even. Where, like, literally, Our if it was raining... Is this related to the case... The person with the upside down peace mark in that photo we found. He's our killer. And what makes you so sure about that? Zack and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. He killed her. Right in there. Oh, one thing. Please don't ask me about Zack. That's a private matter. <laughs> anyway, by showing me your bags, well, that doesn't come across in say, New York. Most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? You do want to remove yourselves from the suspect list. It will make things a lot easier. This is insane. Your methods are rude, insulting, and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I don't care if you are FBI or not. You are out of line. He sounds a bit defensive here, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Hmm. George, it's okay. Let's just show him and get it over with. Emily, are you crazy? Look, we flash our backs and he'll start trusting us a little more. Right? Agent York? I love a good cigarette when staring at a woman's back. <sighs> Brings out the tiger in me. Are you satisfied now? Yes. My apologies. <sighs> now you, George. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't refuse it now, can I? But don't expect to get your way all the time, Agent Morgan. Do you think uh, Choi would have shown Rio her back? I think he more or less did. Huh? George! What are these scars? Just like your Mr. Zack. Something private. I don't have to tell you about it. Of course. Just like Zack. We can understand that, right, Zack? Anyway, this will make things a lot easier from now on. I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. Thank you for your cooperation. So yeah, bit of a mystery Anyone when it comes to around here. It's George. Him. He's the most suspicious. No, I don't think so. But he certainly is the most irritating. We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. George, can we arrange to have the town folk gather in one place? There are some things this I want to address This music is entirely appropriate, the by the way. Very well. I'll arrange to have as many as possible gather in the community center tomorrow. Thank you, George. That was the Mordor site. There has been a terrible Mordor. Mordor. Sorry, that should have been. I can't quite rule my R's for it correctly. Yes, well, actually. Well, it may be P time for you, I think, given that it's coming up on 1 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. Also. Ah, Thomas. Agent Morgan. It's past 2100. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. 
I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. I'll be there. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. So yeah, I think, if you don't mind terribly, this is going to be the point where I call it an evening. Because I'm right tired. We've had quite a bit of adventure. But tomorrow we're going to get to meet everybody in this crazy ass town. Think about that. Now there are cards you can get only by redoing those entire battle sequences. Suffice to say, that's not something I really enjoy doing, but I've 100%ed this game on the original Xbox version. Or sorry, the Xbox 360 version. As well as the PC version, so... Or not PC, sorry, PS3 version, so... Yeah, for some reason, I've 100%ed it twice. I'm going to drive over to that phone, and I think I'll call it at that stage. Is he trying to control the cars in this? Holy hell. Holy hell is a torture. We can have a little chat with Zach if you want, maybe before I go. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. And it is going to get fun. You're going to get to meet the town's residents. There's going to be action. Adventure. Mystery. Heartache. Everything. The car just parks itself when you're away from it, which is nice. But yeah, what do you think? Are you happy enough to wait till tomorrow for more? Because I am pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. Terrible green day time. I've literally no idea where the checkpoints went now. Oh, it's over here. See, they don't even really go in any logical order. Like that one you have to smash through your fence to get? Why? Who actually thought this was a good idea? No, that one's stuck behind these gates. Listen to those awkward drum fills. And I managed to drive through it. You think I'm passing this time? I 
And there's a cone actually jammed underneath the car. So the controller is vibrating constantly because of the physics engine. And I can't shake it out. Just like that out. That would be crazy. Man, I totally forgot that the 360 version man like shit as well. I was really harsh on the PS3 version. All that time. Field. With life. And a deadly premonition. That's harsh. But yeah. Let me know if you just want me to... Well, let me know when you agree for this. And break turn. Go you to punch? This is my favorite Green Day song. I hate Billy Joe Armstrong. I hate his song. I hate his racing mini game. I'm gonna have to ask Simon to do shit from pills like this. I think it's. Yeah, it's bedtime for me. Or at least relaxation time. We're gonna have more proper plot and, like I said, meeting characters tomorrow. But for now... This racing game's tough. I don't care what anyone says. Oh shit, it's on that side of the world. No. Oh, I think that's the actual checkpoint. The oh no, vandalism penalty. Great! And yeah, literally all that does is open it up so that we can actually get one of those baseball cards. And I may as well get it now since I fucking went through that ordeal. Nice driving. Unfortunately, the best car you can unlock constantly plays that music, by the way. The shit American idiot. Why am I saying shit American? American idiot shit too. Car controls are brilliant. How did I actually get in there? I honestly don't recall. I guess we can just drive around here, or I think there used to be a gate block. No, I definitely have to see how to get this stupid fucking... Marvelous, it says. And then it gives you loads of money. get loads of money for it anyway. But it's completely pointless. And the exciting baseball card we get is Sally Graham. We've not met Sally yet, but she is the mother of Anna, who was murdered. Tough break.
Oh, I don't know why I love mundane games. I like ones that have like really half-baked implemented ideas. But trust me, I'm not joking when I say I love this game and its story. Still not made you cry yet, and it will make you cry. I guarantee it. Or even if it doesn't make you cry, you'll feel something. It'll Trumps. make your heart feel something again. Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams. The adventure begins. That one was back in '85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. I guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007. But it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. I've never seen that movie. I've never even heard of it. I may have to check it out. Remo? Anyone? I definitely know of, uh, what do you call it, um, Tremors, but I've never heard of Remo before. The Google Rima. Why York only steps on it when he's got the siren blurring, I don't know. He's definitely not even hitting like the speed limit in this country, so no real reason for him to do it. That is an abandoned train tunnel there. That's not really that. Joel one. Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986, I get it. directed by John Hughes. <laughs> that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know, but you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Hecker. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original I've book and script it. were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, the last words, the end, was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from the Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Well, I still have to see the second part of it. I've heard bad things about it, but, you know. I'd rather see these things for myself. Unless it's the Emoji movie. Because I don't need to confirm that myself. That it's, like, bad enough to give me cancer. And I've only seen the first, like, 20 minutes of Mandy, and I wasn't mad impressed. Uh, everybody raves about it, so I will have to see it at some point, but it's not on any of the streaming services yet. You have to buy it still, so... I'll wait. But anyway, that's a good, solid, almost three hours streaming, so you can't really say I didn't make up for it.
tomorrow we're going to be getting on with the case. But for now, I think that's quite enough. There's the mash market. In the general mart. In Studio GV. But anyway, yeah, we'll come back to Greenfield again. Just not right now. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. How about that? She lost her husband in a car accident and she's currently living on welfare. After Anna's death, she is depressed and in pain. Her life is in shambles. Not so good. When Gina washes car, she uses her favourite sponge. However, since she doesn't really wipe with it, it really isn't of much use. Gretch. Keith's first guitar. Keith doesn't know it is a replica model and treasures it as his pride and joy. Or Greg Hotch as it's called. George's wait for pumping on named him Arnold and Sylvester. What makes this sandwich so amazing is the fact that the turkey is tasty and juicy without making the bread soggy. Why is it blue? An angel? Isaiah, or Isaac, sorry. He sits in a red room. A very strange set of twins. No shit. No shit. But we'll come back. Hopefully he's already joined the game. We'll have more investigation.